Thomas, let's start with something that many people struggle with, managing their workload. It's easy to feel overwhelmed when tasks pile up. Personally, I find it helpful to break down my workload into smaller, manageable chunks. It prevents me from feeling swamped all at once. Absolutely, Jennifer. I also try to prioritize my tasks by deadlines and importance. Creating a clear action plan helps me tackle high-priority items first. I use tools like project management apps to keep track of my progress and stay organized. Stress at work can be a major issue for many. How do you manage stress, Jennifer? I've found that regular breaks and some relaxation techniques like deep breathing or short walks make a big difference. I agree, Thomas. Stress management is crucial. I also incorporate mindfulness practices into my day. Taking a few minutes to meditate or practice gratitude can help shift my mindset and reduce anxiety. Sometimes, dealing with difficult colleagues can be challenging. How do you approach this, Thomas? I try to maintain professionalism and focus on finding common ground. It's important to address issues calmly and constructively. That's a good strategy, Jennifer. I also believe in setting clear boundaries and using effective communication to address conflicts. If necessary, I involve a mediator to help facilitate a resolution. Maintaining a balance between work and personal life is essential. What are your thoughts on this, Jennifer? I set clear boundaries by having specific work hours and making time for activities I enjoy outside of work. I find that creating a separate workspace at home and scheduling regular breaks helps me maintain this balance. It's also important to unplug from work completely during personal time to recharge. Office politics can often be tricky to navigate. How do you handle this, Thomas? I try to stay neutral and focus on my own work. Building strong professional relationships and staying away from gossip helps me avoid unnecessary complications. That's a smart approach, Jennifer. I also think it's important to be transparent and honest in your interactions. Keeping a professional demeanor and staying focused on your goals can help you steer clear of office politics. Effective communication is key to a successful work environment. How do you work on improving your communication skills, Jennifer? I practice active listening and make sure I'm clear and concise in my messages. I agree, Thomas. Regular feedback and being open to constructive criticism are also important. Additionally, participating in workshops or training sessions can help hone communication skills. Burnout is a serious issue that many face. How do you address it, Thomas? I find that taking time off and engaging in activities I enjoy helps me recover. It's also crucial to set realistic goals and avoid overloading yourself. Burnout can be tough to deal with. I also try to recognize the signs early and take proactive steps to address them, like seeking support from a mentor or counselor and adjusting my workload as needed. Setting clear career goals can guide your professional growth. How do you approach goal setting, Jennifer? I start by defining short-term and long-term goals, then create actionable steps to achieve them. That's a great method, Thomas. I also review and adjust my goals regularly to ensure they align with my evolving career aspirations. Having a mentor to provide guidance and feedback is also valuable. Workplaces are constantly evolving. How do you adapt to changes, Thomas? I try to stay flexible and open-minded. Embracing change and viewing it as an opportunity for growth helps me adapt more effectively. I agree, Jennifer. Being proactive in learning new skills and staying informed about industry trends can help you adapt to changes smoothly. It's also helpful to maintain a positive attitude and seek support when needed. Time management is crucial for productivity. What are your time management strategies, Jennifer? I use a combination of scheduling tools and time blocking techniques to stay organized and ensure I allocate enough time for each task. I also find that setting priorities and avoiding multitasking helps me manage my time better.
Regularly reviewing my schedule and adjusting it as needed ensures I stay on track and meet deadlines. Receiving and clear instructions can be frustrating. How do you handle this, Thomas? I make sure to ask clarifying questions and confirm my understanding before proceeding. It's important to ensure you're on the right track. That's a good approach, Jennifer. I also document the instructions and follow up if there's any confusion. Clear communication with your supervisor or colleagues can help avoid misunderstandings. A supportive team can greatly enhance job satisfaction. How do you contribute to building a supportive work environment, Jennifer? I focus on offering help to colleagues and fostering a positive, collaborative atmosphere. I agree, Thomas. Encouraging open communication and recognizing the achievements of team members also helps build a supportive environment. Team building activities can strengthen relationships and improve collaboration. Performance reviews can be a source of anxiety. How do you approach them, Thomas? I prepare by reviewing my accomplishments and setting clear goals for discussion. Being open to feedback and using it for improvement is key. That's a great strategy, Jennifer. I also try to approach performance reviews as an opportunity for growth. Reflecting on feedback and discussing ways to enhance my skills helps me make the most of the review process. Office distractions can disrupt productivity. How do you manage them, Jennifer? I create a focused work environment by minimizing interruptions and setting specific times for checking emails and messages. I also find that using noise-canceling headphones and setting boundaries with colleagues helps reduce distractions. Having designated focus periods during the day can improve concentration and efficiency. Meeting deadlines is crucial, but it can be stressful. How do you manage tight deadlines, Thomas? I break down tasks into smaller steps and prioritize them to ensure I stay on track. Regular progress checks help me stay focused. That's a good approach, Jennifer. I also try to plan ahead and allocate extra time for unexpected delays. Communicating with your team or supervisor about any challenges can also help manage deadlines effectively. Juggling multiple projects can be challenging. How do you keep track of everything, Jennifer? I use project management tools to organize tasks and deadlines. Prioritizing projects based on urgency and importance helps me stay focused. I agree, Thomas. I also find it helpful to set specific milestones for each project and review my progress regularly. Keeping a clear overview of all tasks ensures I stay organized and manage my workload efficiently. Remote work presents its own set of challenges. How do you stay productive working from home, Thomas? I create a structured daily routine and have a dedicated workspace to maintain focus and productivity. That's a great strategy, Jennifer. I also make it a point to communicate regularly with my team and set clear work hours to maintain boundaries between work and personal life. Staying connected helps me stay engaged. Receiving feedback can be difficult, but it's essential for growth. How do you handle it, Jennifer? I listen carefully, ask for clarification if needed, and focus on using the feedback to improve my performance. I agree, Thomas. It's important to approach feedback with an open mind and view it as an opportunity for development. Reflecting on the feedback and implementing changes helps enhance your skills and work quality. Work-related anxiety is something many people experience. How do you manage it, Thomas? I practice stress relief techniques such as deep breathing and mindfulness to help calm my mind and reduce anxiety. That's a good approach, Jennifer. I also find that staying organized and breaking tasks into smaller steps helps manage anxiety. Seeking support from colleagues or a mentor can also provide reassurance and guidance. Building positive relationships at work can improve job satisfaction. How do you foster these relationships, Jennifer? I make an effort to engage in team activities and offer support to my colleagues to strengthen our connections. I agree, Thomas. Open communication and showing appreciation for others' efforts also help build strong relationships. 
Being approachable and supportive creates a positive work environment and enhances teamwork. Integrating work and personal life can be challenging. How do you achieve this balance, Thomas? I set clear boundaries and make time for personal activities to ensure I maintain a healthy work-life integration. That's a great approach, Jennifer. I also try to be flexible and adjust my schedule as needed to accommodate both work and personal commitments. Prioritizing self-care and relaxation helps me stay balanced. Unpredictable work schedules can be tough to manage. How do you handle this, Thomas? I try to remain adaptable and plan for potential changes. Keeping a flexible mindset helps me adjust when my schedule shifts unexpectedly. That's a good strategy, Jennifer. I also use a calendar app to track any changes and make sure to communicate any adjustments with my team. Having a contingency plan in place can also help manage sudden schedule changes. Maintaining focus can be challenging, especially with so many distractions. What are your tips for improving concentration, Jennifer? I find that creating a distraction-free environment and using techniques like the Pomodoro technique helps me stay focused. I agree, Thomas. I also make a habit of setting specific goals for each work session and taking regular breaks to recharge. Limiting multitasking and using noise-canceling headphones can also enhance my concentration. Managing expectations from supervisors and colleagues can be tricky. How do you approach this, Thomas? I make sure to communicate clearly about my capacity and set realistic deadlines. It's important to manage expectations to avoid overpromising. That's a great approach, Jennifer. I also find it helpful to regularly update my team on progress and any potential delays. Transparency helps ensure everyone is on the same page and prevents misunderstandings. Adapting to new technologies can be challenging. How do you stay updated, Jennifer? I make it a point to attend training sessions and stay informed about new tools and software relevant to my work. Embracing technology can improve efficiency. That's a good strategy, Thomas. I also try to explore new technologies on my own and seek out resources or tutorials to learn about them. Staying curious and open to learning helps me adapt to technological changes more smoothly. Work-related travel can disrupt routines. How do you manage this, Thomas? I try to maintain some consistency by keeping a travel schedule and planning ahead. Staying organized and flexible helps me manage travel effectively. That's a practical approach, Jennifer. I also find it helpful to keep a travel kit with essentials and plan for downtime to relax and recharge. Balancing work and travel helps me stay productive while on the road. Career transitions, whether it's a new role or changing industries, can be daunting. How do you approach these changes, Jennifer? I focus on leveraging my existing skills and seeking new learning opportunities to ease the transition. That's a great approach, Thomas. I also find it useful to connect with mentors or peers in a new field for guidance and support. Embracing a growth mindset helps me navigate career transitions more confidently. Conflicts within a team can impact productivity. How do you handle conflicts, Thomas? I believe in addressing issues early and facilitating open communication to resolve misunderstandings. It's important to listen to all perspectives. I agree, Jennifer. I also think involving a neutral mediator can help if conflicts escalate. Focusing on finding common ground and working collaboratively towards solutions can improve team dynamics. Continuous professional development is key to career growth. How do you pursue this, Jennifer? I actively seek out workshops, courses, and networking opportunities to enhance my skills and stay current in my field. That's a proactive approach, Thomas. I also set personal development goals and regularly review my progress. Engaging in self-reflection and seeking feedback helps me identify areas for improvement and growth. Staying motivated and engaged at work can be challenging. How do you keep yourself motivated, Thomas? I set personal goals and celebrate small achievements along the way. Finding meaning in my work helps me stay engaged. 
That's a great way to maintain motivation, Jennifer. I also try to stay connected to my passions and interests related to my job. Regularly setting new challenges and seeking out opportunities for growth keeps me engaged and enthusiastic. Balancing personal projects with work responsibilities can be a juggling act. How do you manage this, Thomas? I prioritize my tasks and allocate specific times during the week for personal projects to ensure I make progress without compromising work duties. That's a smart approach, Jennifer. I also find that integrating personal projects into my work schedule helps. For instance, using lunch breaks or early mornings for personal tasks can keep me on track without disrupting my work. Unexpected challenges at work can throw you off course. How do you tackle these, Jennifer? I try to stay calm and assess the situation thoroughly. Breaking the problem into smaller steps and seeking input from colleagues can help me find solutions. Absolutely, Thomas. I also believe in maintaining a problem-solving mindset and adapting quickly. Having a flexible plan and remaining open to alternative approaches can make handling unexpected challenges more manageable. With remote work becoming more common, how do you ensure an effective setup, Thomas? I make sure to have a dedicated workspace, reliable technology, and set clear boundaries between work and home life to maintain productivity. That's crucial, Jennifer. I also regularly check in with my team to stay connected and ensure clear communication. Having a structured routine and using productivity tools can help me stay focused while working remotely. Building and maintaining professional relationships is important for career growth. How do you approach this, Jennifer? I make an effort to network regularly, attend industry events, and stay in touch with colleagues and mentors. That's a great strategy, Thomas. I also try to offer support and value to my professional connections. Building strong relationships through mutual respect and collaboration can create lasting and beneficial networks. During particularly busy periods, maintaining work-life balance can be challenging. How do you handle this, Thomas? I prioritize self-care and ensure I schedule time for relaxation, even when work is demanding. That's a valuable approach, Jennifer. I also find that setting boundaries and being mindful of my workload helps. It's important to communicate with supervisors and delegate tasks when possible to manage busy periods effectively. Adapting to a new work environment can be a significant adjustment. How do you manage this, Jennifer? I focus on learning the new environment gradually, understanding team dynamics, and integrating myself into the new culture. Great advice, Thomas. I also find that asking questions and seeking feedback helps with adaptation. Being proactive in learning about the new environment and connecting with colleagues can ease the transition. Setting realistic goals for professional growth is key to development. How do you set and achieve these goals, Thomas? I use SMART goals to ensure they are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. That's an effective method, Jennifer. I also regularly review my goals and adjust them as needed based on progress and changing circumstances. Reflecting on achievements and setbacks helps refine my approach. Meeting project deadlines requires effective time management. How do you handle this, Jennifer? I break projects into manageable tasks, set deadlines for each task, and use project management tools to track progress. That's a practical approach, Thomas. I also prioritize tasks based on their urgency and importance. Regularly reviewing my progress and adjusting timelines as needed helps ensure I stay on track to meet deadlines. Balancing professional development with daily work responsibilities can be tricky, how do you manage this, Thomas? I set aside specific times for learning and development activities, integrating them into my regular schedule. That's a good strategy, Jennifer. I also look for opportunities to incorporate learning into my daily work tasks. Applying new skills directly to my job helps reinforce learning and maintains a balance between development and responsibilities. 
For those in freelance careers, managing finances can be challenging. How do you approach this, Jennifer? I create a budget, track expenses and income, and set aside funds for taxes and future investments. That's essential, Thomas. I also find it helpful to work with a financial advisor to plan for long-term goals and ensure financial stability. Regularly reviewing my financial situation and making adjustments helps me stay on track. Navigating office politics can be tricky. How do you manage this, Thomas? I focus on maintaining professionalism, building positive relationships, and staying true to my values. Avoiding gossip and being transparent helps me navigate office politics effectively. That's wise, Jennifer. I also try to understand the dynamics of the workplace and communicate openly. Keeping a positive attitude and focusing on work goals can help mitigate the impact of office politics. Managing remote teams requires effective communication and organization. How do you approach this, Jennifer? I use collaboration tools and regular check-ins to ensure team members stay connected and aligned with goals. That's a great approach, Thomas. I also emphasize clear expectations and feedback. Creating a supportive remote work environment and fostering team engagement helps manage remote teams effectively. Handling feedback and criticism is crucial for growth. How do you deal with this, Thomas? I approach feedback with an open mind, view it as an opportunity for improvement, and seek clarification if needed. That's a constructive mindset, Jennifer. I also try to reflect on feedback and implement suggestions where applicable. Engaging in dialogue with those providing feedback helps me understand their perspective and improve. Managing work-related stress is important for overall well-being. What techniques do you use, Jennifer? I practice stress relief techniques like mindfulness, exercise, and ensuring I have a work-life balance. Those are effective strategies, Thomas. I also find that setting boundaries, taking breaks, and maintaining a support network helps manage stress. Regular self-care and seeking professional help when needed contribute to managing stress effectively. Creating a productive home office environment is key for remote work. What are your tips, Thomas? I focus on having a dedicated workspace, good lighting, and minimal distractions to enhance productivity. That's important, Jennifer. I also ensure my home office is ergonomically designed and equipped with necessary tools and technology. Regularly organizing and maintaining the space helps keep it conducive to work. Managing multiple projects simultaneously requires effective time management. How do you handle this, Jennifer? I prioritize tasks based on deadlines and importance and use time blocking techniques to allocate specific periods for each project. That's a great strategy, Thomas. I also find that creating a detailed schedule and regularly reviewing my progress helps keep everything on track. Breaking projects into smaller tasks and setting milestones can make it more manageable. Developing good work habits is essential for long-term success. What habits have you found most beneficial, Thomas? I believe in maintaining consistency, setting clear goals, and staying organized. Developing a routine helps me stay productive. Those are solid habits, Jennifer. I also think cultivating a positive attitude and focusing on continuous improvement contributes to good work habits. Regularly assessing and refining my approach ensures I stay on top of my tasks. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today, Thomas. From staying organized and managing time to handling remote work and balancing personal life, it's clear that small adjustments can make a big difference in our daily routines. Absolutely, Jennifer. It's all about finding what works for you and being adaptable. Hopefully, our listeners found some useful tips they can start applying right away. I'm sure they did. Remember, whether it's improving time management, setting boundaries, or incorporating healthy habits, the key is consistency and a bit of flexibility. Exactly. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insights in the next episode. 
Until then, stay motivated and keep working toward a balanced, productive life. Take care, everyone, and don't forget to tune in next time for more tips on mastering your day-to-day -day life. See you all soon.